Hi everyone, with the following guide I will take you through the best possible method of reaching the ending of Fallout 4 with the Minutemen, keeping both the Railroad and the Brotherhood of Steel intact. Using this method will also help you get the most out of your game no matter which faction you side with in the end. To put it simply, it will help you build a save file that you can later go back to and easily complete the game with a different faction if you ever want to do so. In the description below, you can find a list of all the main quests from my playthrough, as well as timestamps for certain parts of the video. I recommend that you watch the supporting videos that I have on my channel, in which I go over specific quests. I will put links to them throughout relevant parts of the video. And you can find them on a separate playlist on my channel. From this point on, there may be some spoilers, but I've tried to keep them as minimal as possible. My recommended Minimen ending is centered around three main requirements. Number one, don't complete tactical thinking from the Brotherhood of Steel, underground undercover from the Railroad, or mass fusion from the Institute. Each of these quests represents a turning point in their respective quest lines, and progressing beyond any one of them forces the player to turn against at least one of the other factions. Keep these quests in mind as I will bring them up later on. Requirement number two, ensure that you complete the nuclear option with the Minutemen, as this is the only way to reach this endgame quest without progressing beyond the three turning points that I just mentioned. And requirement number three, issue the evacuation order at the director's terminal during the nuclear option to stay on good terms with the railroad. Failing to do so will automatically cause them to become hostile upon your return. To keep everything as simple as possible, I will focus on two important points in the game, and go through what I did before and after those points. Specifically, I will talk about what I recommend doing before entering the Institute for the first time, and before leaving it. First, let's take a look at the molecular level. Before entering the Institute for the first time, I recommend completing Brotherhood of Steel main quests, up to Show No Mercy, Railroad main quests, up to Tradecraft, and Minutemen main quests, up to Old Guns. If you happen to have already entered the Institute before completing the main quests that I mentioned, check with each faction to see if you can continue completing main quests with them to those points. If you are successful in doing so, then continue on with the second part of my guide. Completing Show No Mercy will allow you to progress further in the Brotherhood of Steel questline much faster after completing Institutionalized, the first Institute main quest. The same applies to the Minutemen. Ensure that you also receive or complete Tradecraft before entering the Institute, as completing this quest is necessary in order to stay on good terms with the Railroad. For personal reasons, I chose not to help Reese during the Brotherhood of Steel quest, Semper Invicta. Strangely, I found that this quest did not need to be completed in order to progress further in the Brotherhood of Steel questline. So, if you're like me and choose not to help him, it's okay. From my experience, the Signal Interceptor or Teleporter, which will be used to enter the Institute for the first time, can be built with the Minutemen, Brotherhood of Steel, or the Railroad. Your choice won't have an impact on the ending. However, to keep everything as simple as possible, I recommend building it with the Minutemen. If you built the Teleporter with the Minutemen or the Railroad, ensure that you speak with Elder Maxon after completing Institutionalized in order to advance further in the Brotherhood of Steel questline. You'll receive From Within and Outside the Wire, which once completed, will allow you to progress further in the Brotherhood of Steel questline. Next, I'll go over my recommendations on what you should do before being banished from the Institute. First, I recommend that you complete Institute main quests up to Mankind Redefined. This will allow you to recruit X688 as a companion. I suggest that you unlock his companion perk, which you'll be able to keep with you even if he eventually turns hostile. I also recommend checking the top floor of the cafeteria section of the Institute for a magazine. Bingo. I also want to remind you to retrieve Virgil's FEV Serum, which you can find here. After giving the serum to Virgil, Captain Kells will eventually speak to you about him and his situation. Successfully passing a speech check will allow you to obtain a unique power armor piece. And finally, I recommend checking the armor and weapons vendor for any items that you'd like to purchase. 
At this point, I've completed Institute main quests, up to Mankind Redefined, Railroad main quests, up to Tradecraft, and for the Brotherhood, I've completed main quests, up to Liberty Reprimed. In addition, I've also received Blind Betrayal, but for reasons that I will mention later, I haven't yet completed it. I've also received Underground Undercover, which I won't touch, and will eventually be failed in order to receive Burning Cover. This is when I also recommend making a save file, as this is the latest point in the game at which all factions will remain at peace. This will provide a convenient method of going back to the game and exploring different outcomes and benefits to completing the main storyline with a different faction. Whichever faction you choose in the end, this will ensure that you get as much as possible from each of the other factions before the ending. Now I will show you my recommended method of getting banished from the Institute through a mission called Spoils of War. Alternatively, a simple method to get banished would be to simply kill a uniquely named scientist. However, I do suggest using the Spoils of War method. Now I will take you through the Spoils of War method. At this point, it is imperative that you haven't yet completed Blind Betrayal, or you may be unable to speak with Ingram to inform the Brotherhood during Mass Fusion. As soon as we speak with Ingram, we will begin Spoils of War. Are we going to fly? Roger that, Scabbard. We have clearance for release. You might want to hang on, sir. The drop can be a little rough. Never could get used to flying in these things. After completing Spoils of War, we can complete Blind Betrayal. Completing Blind Betrayal will allow us to continue increasing our relationship level with Dance and eventually unlock his companion perk. After this, we can complete a quest called Burning Cover. Due to the fact that we've already been banished from the Institute, Defend the Castle will begin automatically. If you haven't yet set up enough settlements, you may receive form ranks before this. Note how this version of Defend the Castle is a main quest. After completing it, we can then speak with Preston and Sturges to begin the nuclear option, which will eventually lead us to our ending. At any point before completing the nuclear option, I recommend that you complete Human Error, a quest that you can receive from a settlement called Covenant, as this quest will become unavailable after the ending. Completing this quest will allow you to use Covenant as a settlement. After completing the nuclear option and reaching the ending, you will notice that both the Brotherhood of Steel and the Railroad are still intact, and you can continue to complete side quests with them if you wish. Of course, if you do ever want to take them out, you can still choose to do so at any point. I will leave additional notes and a list of main quests in the description below. Links to supporting videos in which I focus on specific quests can be found by clicking the icon at the top right corner of the screen, as well as on a separate playlist on my channel. By completing the main storyline in this manner, you'll be able to experience more of the story and receive perks, items, and other unlockables that you would otherwise miss or be unable to obtain. If you want to continue working with an old save instead of starting with a new one, I recommend checking with each faction to see if you can continue completing main quests up to the points that I mentioned. From there, you can follow the parts of my guide that apply to you. Even if you don't side with the Minutemen in the end, I hope that this guide helps you plan ahead and allows you to experience as much of Fallout 4's main questline as possible. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I will do my best to answer them.